Is that a good thing? Coast is clear. If the shore is that way, then the school is probably that way. Sim was the third. Huh? The day after AJ killed Marlon, you already know Violet and I voted for you to stay. A Sim was the third vote. Wait, that means Omar voted us out? And Ruby? Uh, yeah. Huh. What made you think of that? A Sim said you knew how to survive. He could just tell the school would be safer with you there. I voted for you because I liked you, but his reason, it was better. I just, I just thought you should know, the Sim was right. We were safer. We were more scared than we let on when you met us. You made that go away. That's really nice of you to say, Ten. Thank you. That's okay. Now that we're out of danger and going back home, it just made me think of it. I like a sim. If Marlon was still in charge, we'd be taken away to wherever, or dead. Instead, we fought back, because you showed us how. We weren't safe with Marlon, even in his safe zone. We were just hiding. All alive. I couldn't believe you were really dead. I had to try and find you. You did find me. Did everyone else escape? Yeah, they're okay. They took the cart and headed back to the school. We're safe, Clem. All we gotta do now is find our way home. Any idea which way that is? I know an old bridge near here. If we cross it, we won't be too far from the school. Well, we were looking for you guys, and I... I thought you might be gone for good. Oh. Shit. I was trying to figure out what I'd do if you were gone. And I realized how goddamn stupid I was about Minnie. For a whole fucking year. I was so wrapped up in losing her and Sophie, I pushed away everyone who tried to care about me. Marlon, Brody, Lewis, even you and AJ, I, I, I tried my damnedest not to care about either of you. And I still couldn't tell you why. Because you were afraid of losing someone else. It's understandable. I was a goddamn coward. I'm not a coward anymore. Jesus, everything's so different now. Me, us, the school. I remember how Marlon described it, and what we were gonna turn Erickson into. It's not the way any of us pictured it. 
How did you picture it? I guess I couldn't. I just listened to what Marlin said. How it would be a home. A real one, but I couldn't really wrap my head around it. My family lived in a trailer. Mm, what about you? Where'd you live? I lived in a house with my mom and dad. Fence around it, big backyard. What was your favorite part of the house? Of course. I had a tree house in the backyard. I used to take my walkie-talkie up there and play for hours. I'd pretend it was a ship and I was the pirate captain. Or it was an igloo and I was a hunter. <laughs> or a castle and I was a princess. Really? Like with frilly dresses and a tiara? Yeah, but also a sword. A warrior princess. Yeah, obviously. And that treehouse kept me alive when all this started. That's where I hid. <sighs> you know, Erickson can still be the home Marlin promised. As soon as we get back, we'll start rebuilding. <sighs> It'll be a lot of work, but you're right. It is worth it. Hell, we could even put in a treehouse. We've already got a bell tower. Okay, we'll build a bell tower house. Perfect. After all that's happened, it's still hard to imagine. I mean, we fought for it. Defended it. It should feel more like home than ever, but it doesn't. You know what the problem is? That stupid fucking name, Erickson. You want to rename it? <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy. We should name it something cool. Threatening, but not like scary. Something that makes assholes go, I should stay away. But not like blood murder knife house. You name it, it was your idea. Texas. We're calling it Texas. You can't just name it Texas. Fine. Texas, too. I want to help rebuild our school. You will, Ten. We all will. We can start as soon as we get back. Let's get home to Texas, too. That was a bit harsh. We can name the school Texas. Okay, just take your time and keep moving forward. What's the problem? This looks perfectly fine to me. No walkers. It seems relatively safe. There's no helicopter. That's far. Really far. Should be able to jump it. It's not that far. Yeah, I think we can. We just gotta be careful not to land too hard.
ini. going someplace better. I want you there with me. Where everyone gets to be a person again? We're gonna go be with Mom and Dad and Sophie together. It won't be real if you're not there. Ten, look at me. I know that looks like her, but your sister is gone. I'm... You can try to stop me, but I am not going anywhere without you. The night will be over soon. Get down! I'll help the boys across the gap. Watch out for the walkers. in my way. How could you do that? I had 
to. You wouldn't ever see Texas 2 if I didn't. I did it for you. For me. I can't. Ten is gone! That soft little boy who liked to draw, he's gone because of you! AJ saved your life, Vi. You'd be dead if he hadn't taken that shot. You think that's okay? Just gunning down one of our own. I didn't want to shoot him. He was my first real friend. But he was messing up again, just like when he got Mitch killed. So I had to decide. Clem said I could, so I did. Goodbye, Tim. I know. I'll climb first, and I'll catch you on the way down. Come on! Bye! Shit! I got it! Clem, look out! Um, well. Run! Run! Meet us back at the school! But uh, we'll make it! Go! Clem, we can climb there. Good idea. This first. Clem! I got you. Go, I'm right behind you. Grab on! Please don't tell me that this is going to go full circle. I was hoping that Clem would survive through this, but it seems they have other plans in store. I got bit. We can't stay here. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. Keep moving. Oh. Keep moving forward. is rather sad, and quite disappointing. I was hoping that they would not repeat what happened with Lee, but it seems like this is going to be the case.
Hey, I love you. Don't ever forget that. I love you too, Clem. Keep moving forward. Look! James is boring. It's empty now. We'll be safe in there. That is a herd. This is not James's doing, is it? This seems to be an awful lot of walkers here.
Here we go again. This time it's more forgiving. You can't let them get inside. You did it. Now what? You need to find a way out of here. We can climb up there. The monsters can't reach us up there. Let's go. Easy climb. Come on. Please. Try. <laughs> You can't give up. You can't give up. I need you. I need you. I'm so sorry, kiddo. This is just what happens sometimes. But it wasn't supposed to happen to you. <laughs> Little goofball. It's Alvin Jr. You'll always be goofball to me. Hey, look at me. Hey, Jay, please. You're such a cutie. How did I get so lucky? Silly right now. Not right now. Please. Hey, there's always time to be silly. Not this time. Always means always. I need to make sure you remember. Remember what? The rules. What's number one? Never... Never go alone. So... So I can't leave. Not without you. AJ... It's your rule! You won't be alone. Not for long. Get back to the school. I don't know how. Sure you do. One of the first things I ever taught you. You need to make sure they can't smell you, so... That axe. <sighs> There's a fresh, juicy walker just waiting to be gutted. You can use that axe to open it up. Cover yourself in walker guts. I know how to do it, Clem. I know you do. Next rule. What do we do when the monsters come? 
Um, AJ. Shoot them in the head. Got any more ammo? There isn't any more. <sighs> okay, then. Fuck. And the last roll. I, I want to stay with you. I know what'll happen. And I don't care. I don't want to go. I just want to sit next to you and... Stay. Like that monster couple from the train station. No one would hurt us. Just sitting. Forever. Please. Let me stay. Oh, sorry, kid. But no. I have a job for you. I need you to get back to your room. I need you to sleep in your bed. Have friends and grow tall. Taller than I ever was, I hope. I need you to live, AJ. For me. That's your job now. Okay, Clem. That's my job. <sighs> Last rule. No. What do we do? If I get bit. <laughs> Are you gonna make me say it? Kill me. 